That's when I look and then the awesome thing about this FTK <laughs> is that you go through your extra deck so much. There's a lot of extra deck cards. They're all these are banished. Like these are in the grave. All that shit's in the grave. Like wow, this is this is what's left of my extra deck after that. Like oh god. <laughs> Hey and welcome back guys and this is the video that will be showing you the FTK because it's a uh, really it's an FTK deck so you probably have to remember all the steps. Now this deck's a flexible FTK, you don't have to open a fixed amount of cards. So I'll just be showing you most of the variants that are like possible when you can do the FTK. There's probably other variants as well which I'll probably not learn and probably discover it tomorrow or so <laughs> next week. But um the main idea is to get two level six dragons and then add someone in a field spell on the field. Once you have that, that is the um, the steps from then on is probably pretty much the same. So um, I'll show you how to get to that from the beginning. Now this is probably an example of the best hand you can open. That's an FTK right there with the stack. Um, Nothing really much to say, I'm going to do it, so let's just start off by opening Ravine. And of course you know what to pitch, pitch a Phalanx in the graveyard and search your Ducks from the deck. Now, now that's the game as well. No, that part wasn't necessary, as you can see, you can actually open these four cards. And, or, um, there you go, that's also an FTK, or a Foolish Burial instead. And uh, discard a random card to get this guy, so... There's a lot of ways of doing it, so as you can see it's already flexible. And instead of Garrod you can have a cards. But I'll show you the combination later, don't worry about them. Anyway, you start your by normal summoning ducks and getting your phalanx from the graveyard. Now we always assume that they have a specific square crow or some shit in hand. But no, effect failures or ghost ogres or hand traps that stops your effects like I believe retaliating C may stop it sometimes if you use instant fusion and um uh, what's this called? Flying C that can stop it because you can't exceed. <laughs> so those hand traps you can just scoop if they, they drop it because you got wrecked basically. But um, not everyone mains Vela, especially this format because it's not the best card at the moment. Maxi is probably better. If they're Maxi, you probably don't give a shit because they have nothing else to stop it. So <laughs> unless they got damage juggler, in which case you cry. Anyway, uh, Phalanx summon it from the equip and Synchro into Vajrayana. Now it's effect activates which lets you equip and special summon Phalanx. If you don't know what most of these, these cards do, just go ahead and look up the... Uh, what's it, just look it up on the wiki because I'm not going to explain every single card what they do. Um, special Garuda, special summon it by banishing ducks from the graveyard, and now you got a level 4 wing beast and a level 2 dragon tuner, and you make a Gator, this is banished. Now Gator's effect, add a dragon or wing beast, level 4 or level, and discard it, uh, discard it, discard another dragon or wing beast, you will use Griffin. Now if you have Griffin in hand, it doesn't matter now, you probably add ducks or Garuda, and you pitch the Griffin, and Griffin triggers, which lets you summon a Gusto from the deck. And you will summon Eagle from the deck. Your field's gonna get full at this point, so I'm gonna move Ravine, like, down here, because we're gonna have five monsters. And from then on, you'll exceed with two dragon monsters into Atom. Now that you have this part, remember this step where you have a Ravine. An atom. This is an optional one. You can instead of doing eagle, you can do Zephyrus, so it doesn't matter. You just add Zephyrus and discard it. So <laughs> this remember the step from here on, the steps probably exactly the same. Apart from if you do Zephyrus. If you do Zephyrus, you do um thingy next step. So you just do atom, detach one, let's move ravine down here. Now if you open a red MD in hand, you can summon a phalanx from the deck and then banish it to get the random right out, so it's not a problem. But most of the time you don't open it because it's a one-off and you get random D from the grave from the deck. And from the grave you get random D's effect to get this guy back. 
And now he's back on the field, he can use his effect again. And this time we'll add Zephyros and it's called Zephyros. Now if you have Zephyros and Nine, as I said earlier, I use picture another card and such, blah blah blah. But um first step you can do either Zephyros or uh, Griffin, it doesn't matter which one you pitch, uh, so I'd always do Griffin first because fuck it. And from now on, you'll synchro these two, that's level 7 synchro. Make sure you do it that way because you get no tokens when you put it inside the field. And to Ancient Fairy Dragon, now this will activate, well it's your choice, activate it. Just destroy your field spell, if your opponent has a field spell destroy his desk because it's funny. And search. Uh, what the fuck is it? Search a black garden. And activate this card. This card is one of the best FTK enablers. Now black garden is activated. Instead of Rav if you have chicken game, you can pop it instead of ravine. So the same. The black garden is now live. You bound Zephyros from the. You bound random these sorry with Zephyros effect for 400 damage. And then black got black garden triggers, which means there's a token here up on the side of the field. Let me get them out. Don't even know. Anyway. There's a nice little token here now. Let's summon it. And it has to be in attack position. And there's 800 attack and defense. This is a dark plant type monster, so I don't think a lot of decks can do anything with those. You can tribute something to them, but that's about it. Or you can attack into your monster. This is why I recommend attacking, attacking, putting your dudes in defense position at the end of the combo if you can't kill them. So you summon the token. That effect feels that effect summons the token, and you banish the atom. And you summon the red MD from the hand, and there's another token because you summoned. And now you do this again. Red MD's effect to resurrect this guy back. So you summon him free, free, three times now. And it's another token. And oh god, so you can see that. This guy's on the field. <laughs> now the effect of this guy again. Now this is the last bit. It's important to do this one last because you have to. You add Steam the Cloak in hand and discard it. If you have it in hand, you discard it from your hand by adding another card. So you probably have like 10 targets or so, it's fine. And now that you've done that, you'll do a. Um, Steam's effect. Kill the red eyes. It's, this is once per duel, this is once per duel, so don't fuck this up. Into Steam. And Steam, when it's summoned, go Black Garden. It makes a token on your opponent's side of the field. Let's move the vanish stuff in. Out of the way. Now they got four tokens. Steam's effect now is um, you can only synchro with Blackwing monsters. And oh look, there's a Zephyros. So we synchro into level 7. To the second ancient fairy dragon. Now, no monster summon. There's another token coming up. Well, go as the index token coming up there. Now, your opponent's monster zone is uh, jam packed, so that's awesome. That's what you want. Now, steam will trigger on the summon. The chain links will be chain link one and two. Because uh, this went to the grave first and it got summoned afterwards. And this doesn't happen because there's no room. And Steam just makes a level 1 mist tokens aqua. Uh, the level matters because it's level 1. Now use Ancient Fairy's effect to destroy your black garden because you don't need any more. You've got 5 monsters on your opponent's side. And you search the last card in my deck. So actually, this card Fusion Gate. Now fusion gates on the field, or you add it to hand and activate it. Now activate fusion gate, you fusion these two, uh, doesn't matter, it's fusion a gay duck and any of the ancient fairy dragons, and then they'll be banished into northern. Because that's two synchro monsters you fusion, you fusion them. And northern will trigger, which lets you summon a monster from the graveyard. You will summon a phalanx. And there you go, you got another level 7 play here, that's level 2, level 4, level 1, so you just synchro again. Into the really cool Power Tool Dragon. And Power Tool Dragon can use its effects, which is to add a field, a field spell, an equip spell from your deck, 
you can choose three of them, then your opponent chooses at random. Now, if you have a refusion in hand, you just pick one of the lances. Or if you have two refusion in hand, which is uh, really rare to happen, but it's uh, it can happen, which is annoying. Uh, you search two divine lances and a refusion. I don't think you'll have been free unless if you went second, so and you can't do this combo at all. Um, so you get a free refusion. You just add one because your opponent has no choice. But if they have um, the choice where they have the lance as a choice, just uh, best of luck to you with uh, a sixty-six percent chance. So it's on your it's in your odds. So you get refusion, activate it. Now that Norden's in the graveyard because we uh, synchro with it, you refusion into it. Eight hundred life points. Norden, you can summon a monster from the graveyard. Now you summon a Zephyros or uh, the Garuda, whatever, or just any level 4s. I uh, usually do Zephyros because he's always there. And you Xyz with you summon him. Then you Xyz with these two. Uh, I usually do this at the same time. Xyz with them two and them two. To levels a rank 7 and a rank 4. Into Galaxy Tomahawk and Burn Revisor. Now. If you remember all the steps from here, you're probably good to go. And uh, you do burn this guy's effect, Galaxy Tomahawk, where you summon as many level one, my uh, level one um, machine. I think they're level seven tokens. Uh, you summon three of them because you've only got two monsters. This card says as many as possible, so you summon three of them. Uh, one, two, and three. Now uh, you got three of those tokens. You just activate Fusion Gate again. We fusion a Pyro monster and a Machine monster, which is the token. Now this is guys banished. The token is just gone. Uh, Nora Max track is gone. You summon Blaze Phoenix. Now at this point, if you have a spare card or two cards in hand, the spares you may as well set them. So let's say we have another freaking lance in the hand. You set it. That means you do 300 more damage because. This guy does damage for each card in the field. This is basically a secret barrel. So, but let's just treat it as if uh, you don't have cards in hand. They don't. Set, they can set. Like, it's just monsters. Uh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's three thousand damage off on this guy. Now you do this again with Fusion Gate, Fusion, Best Girl, and Blaze Phoenix. That guy's banished. Do the second one. It's just minus 300 from the previous one, so it's 3,000 3, and 2,700. So, I don't know how much damage that is, I can't count. Maths is too hard, apparently, and you make the third one, which is the lethal one. And you just burn number 2,400 if you have this set up. So, there you have it, that's 8,100 damage. And if you set a card, it will be 8,100 damage, I believe. No, 9,000 damage, and you set another card. It'll be 9900 damage, which is not enough for two upstars, which is quite annoying. But if you have three, that's uh, 90, 10,000 something, 10, 10, 2. So, yeah, there you have it. That's the combo. Remember the steps from the atom when the field spell, it's all the same um, combination. The only difference is you can do um, Gusto, Griffin, or Zephyros first. Now we'll show you all the hand combinations that you can open with and I'll get it to the point where you have the atom and the thing set up, the field spell. So yeah, let's go and uh, have a look at that. Hope you understand that, that's you get anyway. 